So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we do, please subscribe. Please don't hesitate not to go and make a donation for my film studio that's going to be telling these stories. And for the movie, link is in the description. Next thing I want to cover, Larry, is these crazy ass nominations. So mm -hmm. the two that came out today, Lord, have mercy. You got Turncoat Tulsi, used to be a Democrat. Then all of a sudden, Trump winked at her. And now I think she probably is sitting around on top of his penis somewhere. Because, Larry, we know how the Republicans think. The only reason they keeping this woman around is because she is useful for something. Number one, she's attractive. And number two, it ain't her policies. OK, let me give you her history. She's she's um, from the islands of Samoa, whatever. OK, um, early education. She was born in 1981, Labonia, American Samoa. Gabby moved to Hawaii during her childhood. Military service, political career, Hawaii State Legislature, U.S. House of Representatives, Democratic National Committee. And then, of course, she tried to run for president, got that ass smacked, went and winked at Donald Trump and turned coat. And now she is being offered the top spy job in all the lands. And Larry, that just don't sit well with me. How are you going to have a turncoat be the head of a spy agency? And make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, I still hold fast to my conspiracy theory. And I try not to get all into the conspiracies unless I have some building amount of evidence. I still felt like in 2020, Putin thought that his boy Donald Trump was going to win and it was going to be an easy transfer of Ukraine. Didn't happen. The people said no. And if you go by all these Ringling Brothers Circus cabinet appointments he's giving, it seems like he's doing that. He's pushing people that are going to undermine this country to appease other dictators in the world. And we've heard several military leaders that was in his last cabinet that continue to tell us he's a threat to American secrets. Larry, how do you feel about Turncoat Tulsi? Yeah, Tulsi Gabbard has had, there's been all kinds of issues with her because she's had a close relationship with Russia and Putin and, and to put her in charge of any sort of spy agency spy. is, it's just, it's, it's unfathomable. It's just, it, it's just. It's mutiny. I, it's mutiny. Pure mutiny. Not to it, mention you know, Elon it, it Musk, feels like, Not to mention it feels Elon like Musk. Putin, Remember it feels Elon like Putin Musk? has run the most successful spot, you know, it has run the most successful KGB, you know, SGR, whatever the hell their, their agency is now, you know, PSYOP and, 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 and military operation to take over and plant assets in our government it's just ever in history and i think eventually there's going to be books written and whenever he whenever he dies and his papers are published i think a lot of this is going to come out and Larry, then they'll have the republicans already, pointing you, fingers at everyone else except for themselves you know that the very first script that i wrote is in part how putin infiltrated america through the leader it's, it's the most expensive of my script, so hopefully I'll build this film career and get to film this script. But that's exactly what I put in there. There's a character very similar to Tulsi Gabbard. Of course, you know Trump is in it. Um, it's, it's nuts how this has come back full circle. Not to mention, Elon Musk been palling around with Putin, and Elon Musk runs the satellites that Putin uses too. So it's like... Yeah. Re old school Republicans back in the day, even though they didn't have the full trappings and beliefs and health systems we needed for most minorities, they was never caught palling around with those that they thought hated this country. No. Now all of a sudden, it's supposed to be kumbaya, shits and giggles. <laughs> no way. Stop it. Stop yeah. it. It's 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 a disaster waiting to happen, Larry. And then you'll love this other one. Matt, get them while they're young Gates, who nobody on Capitol Hill likes him, Larry, because number one, he ran out McCarthy. So that made a and McCarthy was beloved behind closed doors. 
by Democrats and Republicans. They, they even though we didn't like his policies, a lot of people liked him as a person. And you know what? I can't knock that. But not to mention, he this man was supposed to be indicted for messing around with them young girls. Try and he paid some of it with PayPal, and now he even is it was about sex, to be it was sex trafficking too, because he was moving them across state lines. Yes, yes. And ladies and gentlemen, I hate to bring this up, but one of my other two scripts is basically about him sex trafficking across the world, trying to get the girls to Putin. See, now I definitely need y'all to go donate so we can get all these hot stories out there. But anyway, he has been nominated by Trump, Larry. And I think that all this is going to do is test the Senate because the senators don't like him either. But I think Trump is doing this stuff to see who is really kissing the ring and who's going to do his duties. And this Matt Gates thing is his first test. What say you, my brother, Larry? <sighs> God. I, 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 <laughs> it's it's so horrible. All you could do is laugh. It's like, bro. I, this is why like, I look bruh. at this. I, I was like, it, it seems as if it, it really seems as if he's just Trump is just straight trolling America at this point. I, it's yeah, just it's man. so. I mean, I understand why he does it, why he's doing it, why he wants to do it. He wants someone that he can easily control, someone that he can say, yeah. do this, do that, and he's not going to get any pushback from the only thing that i can hope for is that there's enough people in the department of justice that will either just simply say no or they will just simply do what a lot of people have done when they know they can't afford to leave either because their job is their job they can't afford financially to leave or they can't afford to leave because they know that they'll just replace them with someone that some sycophant so I hope what they do is either say no and push back as much as they can, or they simply slow down to the point that everything when they tell them to do something, they just slow crawl it to the point that it, it becomes not done, you know? Yeah. Because that's at yeah. some point, that's the only way that certain at certain times you can fight back is just to, to slow, to slow your work down, just to not to say, we're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. We hear you. We're still working on it. And then nothing right. ever gets done. That's the only thing you can do sometimes. And hopefully there's enough people out there in DOJ that'll, that'll do that. That will slow roll stuff until it just, it never gets done. Exactly. You know, because I hate to see what, I hate to see what is coming down the pike with him. Oh and, God, man, Lord have mercy. It's like I was telling my wife, Larry, how do you keep putting the wolf in the sheep's clothing and let them go hang with the wolf? Trump, who's a con artist, is the president. This guy who was trafficking girls and having sex with them, you want to put him in control of the police? And the crazy, this was a crazy thing, right? Is that you had all these crazy conspiracy theories, like these QAnon people that were thinking that Democrats were the ones that were out there doing all this crazy sex trafficking and all this stuff with kids. And the Republicans had people in their camp that were actually doing it, where doing authorities it. have said, we have proof of this. And it's not even just, it's not even just so much to say, oh, this is just political. This was all sensationalized. No, his, Matt Gates' partner, the dude that he was doing this with was convicted. He was he was charged and convicted. Yes, Matt's get Matt charged. Gates got off because he's a politician, and then at the time that this came up in the House, they needed his vote. Exactly, they needed his vote, so they kept they they mm -hmm. kept him there. I mean, yep. it was the same thing for what's his name. They kept him and the the dude they eventually expelled the the crazy Hispanic dude that was from uh, New York. New York, that, you know. I mean, yeah. he didn't get the same benefits yeah. of the doubt because he wasn't white. But they kept him on a lot longer than than they would have because they needed his vote too. But they needed Matt mm -hmm. Gates's vote, and he's white, so they are able to keep him in there. And now they're going to reward him for being a loyal soldier. And and it's just it's it's ridiculous. It's just, man. It's absolutely. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. As 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 the black women would say, they playing in our face with this stuff. But 